the wire up, a 10 function LADAR system and above. This is what you get in the box, lanyard, transmitter, receiver and some cable glands. Move those aside because it's what we're interested in. You get three cable glands that allow you to drill a hole in the box wherever you want to get the cables to come through. What you're going to do then is wire it up with power and ground to here and then each one of these outputs is a positive output. So you're going to need to connect together all the neutrals from your solenoid valves into an earth. This is a little jumper which determines whether this output, the M, is comes on when you turn the load R on or only comes on when you press a button and that's solely used for dump valves and to do that you move it from there to there. Over here there's something called S that comes on with a positive output as soon as you turn your load R on. It's used for warning beacons and the such like. The stop and the limit switches nobody ever uses those. So that's it, you're going to have to wire your neutrals together somewhere. How do I do it? Easy. Move that to one side. Here's an example. I use cable glands with multiple hole grommets in. Here they are. Feed in the solenoid cables into the box. And here you can see all the connectors that connect onto the load R receiver. First of all, and most importantly, there's a 10 amp fuse in the back, as recommended by LODAR. And then all the neutrals, which are the blue wires, get connected together and put into the blue wire. And that's it, all done. Thank you very much for watching. And if you want a wiring diagram, please let me know.